Let's start in mountain pose. Just take a few moments here. Get settled into our practice. And we'll inhale, rise, exhale, forward fold, inhale, flat back, exhale, forward fold, and inhale to rise. We'll do that twice more. Exhale, forward fold, inhale, flat back, exhale, forward fold, then inhale to rise lifting those arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. And inhale to rise. Hands to heart center. And inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Then we'll step back to a plank and come into chaturanga and inhale up dog and exhale back to downward facing dog. Go ahead and step up to the front of the mat, inhale flat back, exhale forward fold, inhale rise and then exhale forward fold again, inhale flat back, exhale Step or jump back to Chaturanga. Inhale up to Up Dog. And exhale back to Downward Facing Dog. Just push those heels towards the floor when you're in Down Dog. And we're going to jump or step to the front of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Then inhale to rise. And hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Jump or step back to your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And then back to downward facing dog. Go ahead and bring your right foot up between the hands for warrior A. Inhale, and then exhale, hands down. Chaturanga. Up dog and then down dog. Then we'll take the left foot between the hands, warrior A, inhale, rise, exhale, fold, chaturanga, inhale, up dog, and back to down dog. Just hold that for a moment. Maybe you can get your heels toward the floor a little closer. Then we'll jump or step up to the front of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to rise in chair and then stand. Inhale chair pose. Exhale forward fold. Inhale flat back. Jump or step back and take your vinyasa. And from down dog, we'll bring our right foot up again between our hands in warrior A. Inhale, rise. Exhale, back to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. We'll bring our left foot up between our hands. Warrior A. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Take your vinyasa and then we'll meet in downward facing dog. 
Then we'll hold this for a few breaths. And we'll jump or step to the front of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to chair. And stand in mountain pose. Hands to heart center. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Jump or step back and take your vinyasa. and meet in down dog. And we'll take our right leg up and bring it between the hands into warrior two. And then we'll go into side angle, whichever variation works for your body. Back up to warrior two. And we're gonna take half moon back to warrior two. And then we'll take our vinyasa. So we're gonna repeat that on the left side and then we're gonna do it one more time on each side after that. So back into down dog. Inhale your left leg up. Bring it between your hands. Come into warrior two. Then come into side angle. Warrior two. Half moon. Warrior two. And then we'll take a chaturanga. So we'll do that sequence one more time on each side. Say so back to down dog. Just catch your breath for a moment. Okay, we're gonna jump to the step front of our mat first. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale to rise. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Jump or step back. Take your vinyasa. And back to down dog. We'll lift our right leg up. Inhale, exhale. Foot between the hands, warrior two. Side angle. Warrior two. Half moon. Back to warrior two. And take your chaturanga. Up dog to down dog. So we want to be moving with our breath for each movement on this. So lift your left leg up, inhale, exhale, foot between the hands into warrior two, side angle, warrior two, half moon, warrior two, And then take your vinyasa. And we'll meet in down dog for a few breaths to catch our breath. Okay, jump or step to the front of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to rise. Enhance to heart center. 
Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Jump or step back and take your vinyasa, or you can skip it if you like. We'll meet in down dog. We'll lift our right leg up, then exhale, foot between the hands, and we'll come into crescent. Then we'll come into a warrior three, so you can hands for be in the front or toward your side. And then we'll go into a standing split, Back to warrior three, and back to crescent. And then we'll take our vinyasa. And we'll also be repeating this sequence one more time. So first we're gonna do the left leg. So inhale, left leg up. Exhale, foot between the hands, crescent. Inhale up. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, standing splits. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, back to crescent. And take your vinyasa. And let's hold down dog. Catch our breath. Should be pretty feeling pretty warm now. Okay, jump or step to the front of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to rise. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, jump or step back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, back to down dog. Then we'll repeat that sequence. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, between the hands, come up to crescent. Exhale, up to warrior three. Inhale, standing splits. Inhale, warrior three. And exhale, back to crescent. Then take your vinyasa. From down dog, lift your left leg up. Foot between the hands, come up to crescent. Catch your balance. Into warrior three. Standing splits. Warrior three. And back to crescent. And then take your vinyasa. And back to down dog. Let's catch our breath here. Then jump or step up to the front of the mat, flat back, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to rise. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Jump or step back and take your vinyasa. Or you can skip it and meet us in down dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Bring your foot between your hands. We're gonna come into warrior A. And we'll interlace our hands behind our back and really lift the chest up to the sky and then fold forward. Inhale, lift and exhale forward. 
And try to keep your hips level with the front of the mat on this. So you might have to have your feet a little bit wider. And exhale. Inhale. Arms rise. And exhale back. Chaturanga, up dog and down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Step between your hands and come up to warrior A. Then we'll interlace our hands the opposite direction and inhale and exhale three times. Inhale, rise and exhale, fold. Inhale, rise and exhale, fold. Inhale back up to warrior A and bring your hands down and take your chaturanga up dog and then down dog and we'll hold here catch your breath Go ahead and jump or step to the front of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, up to rise. Then we'll do that again. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, your right leg up. And go ahead and step between your hands into warrior A. Then we'll interlace our hands behind our back for waterfall, waterfall warrior. So inhale and then exhale forward. Inhale, rise. Exhale, forward. Inhale, rise. And exhale, forward. And inhale, lift up to warrior A, and we'll take our vinyasa. And meet in down dog. Lift your left leg up, inhale, and then exhale, hands between the foot between the hands. Lift up into warrior A, and then we'll interlace the opposite direction, inhaling and exhaling into the fold. So inhale, lift, and exhale, fold. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, rise to warrior A, and then take your chaturanga. To up dog, inhale, and exhale back to downward facing dog. Let's hold for a few more breaths here. Catch your breath. Maybe you can get those heels closer to the ground by now. Should be feeling nice and warm. Okay, jump or step to the front of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to rise. And hands to heart center. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, jump or step back. Take your vinyasa. And we'll meet in down dog. From here, we'll come down to a wide knee child's pose. Just to start to cool down now. Slow your breath.
Okay, from here we're going to come on to our bellies and we're going to come into a sphinx pose. So it's a nice gentle back bend. So we'll have our elbows under our shoulders, hands flat. Or if you'd like a little more, you can push your arms straight and have your hands a little wider. Just bring your chest open and up. Feel that nice lumbar spine opening up. And then exhale down and rest your forehead on your hands or bring your head to one side. Might want to shake your hips out a little bit. From here we're going to come into an inversion. So you can uh, just bring your legs up the wall if you'd prefer to do that. I'm doing a headstand here. Um, if you'd like to do a shoulder stand, you know, whatever works for you. It's nice to uh, reverse, you know, gravity in your body. So um, if you don't want to do a headstand or a shoulder stand, you could certainly just bring your legs up the wall. And we'll just hold here for a little bit. And if you're not comfortable doing these in the middle of the room, it's always a good idea to come near a wall. And then let's slowly come down as slow as you can. And take child's pose for just a moment so we don't get a head rush. And then we'll go ahead and come up and uh, lay down on our backs. Bring our knees into our chest, give yourself a little rock before coming into a twist. So you can do eagle legs like I am with your right leg over your left and bring your knees over to the left and your right arm out to the right. Or you can keep your knees together or you can keep your left leg straight and bend your right knee over your body. Whichever twist is your favorite. Just try to open up that chest to the sky all the hard work is over. And then let's bring our knees back into center. And then switch sides. So that'll be the knees over to the right, left arm out, looking towards the left. If you can, if not, you know, you can look toward the ceiling, whichever's more comfortable for your neck. And then let's bring our knees back into center. Bring your knees into your chest and give yourself a little rock. And then we'll come into happy baby. You could stay still or get or rock back and forth. It's a nice massage for the spine. And then we'll come into Shavasana. So give yourself a little squeeze and then we'll lay out and relax. Or you could come into a seated meditation if you'd prefer. Just be here for a couple minutes.
Start to bring awareness back into your body by making small movements, wiggling your feet, your hands, your toes. Go ahead and bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little rock. And then bring yourself over to one side using your arm as a pillow. Taking your time, go ahead and make your way up to a seated position, keeping your eyes closed. Let's bring our hands to heart center and bow our head in gratitude. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste.